Well, Central Valley graduate and basketball standout Lexi Hall is likely to be drafted into the WNBA tonight. The draft picks are taking place right now on ESPN. And Creme 2's Travis Green is breaking down the Stanford seniors' road to the WNBA. The WNBA draft begins at 4 p.m. Pacific time, and it's a special one for Spokane as Central Valley alum Lexi Hull will likely have her name announced. Hull decided to forego her final year of eligibility at Stanford to chase her dream of playing professionally. She accomplished just about all she could in a Cardinal uniform, winning a national championship and earning all Pac-12 honors three times in her four years playing in college. The two-time Washington Gatorade Player of the Year while at CV is coming off a standout senior year at Stanford where she averaged 12 and a half points, two assists, and over five rebounds a game. A key part of her skill set that scouts are in love with is her ability to shoot the three ball. She shot 41% from the field and 39% from three. Hull also has been named to the all pac 12 defensive team twice. In other words, she can do it all. Here's what the experts have to say on Hull heading into the draft. SB Nation saying, quote, Hull's main appeal as a WNBA prospect will almost certainly be her outside shooting ability as she shot 39.3% on 4.3 three-pointers per game as a senior. Just Women's Sports saying, quote, at six foot one, Hull has the playmaking skills to go along with her high basketball IQ and impressive length at the guard spot. And also, Worth noting, along with her accolades on the court, Hull earned the Elite 90 award given to the student athlete at the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship with the highest overall GPA. So smart on the court and in the classroom. But the question that comes to mind here is, where will Hull land in the draft? Projections have Hull being taken in the mid-second to early third round in the 12-team draft. ESPN's latest mock draft has Hull taken in the second with the 21st overall pick by the Seattle Storm. A landing spot I know locals here would just love to see. If this were to happen, Hull would be teamed up with fellow Spokenite Brianne January, who signed with the Storm this offseason. CBS Sports has Hull projected in the early to mid second round. They did not release picks past the first round though. And in SB Nation's latest mock, Hull going with the first pick in the third round to the Indiana Fever, a team that hasn't made the playoffs since 2016. Now this is a fairly guard heavy drafts uh, once the top post players go in the first round. So it's hard to predict, but it's possible Hull could go as early as the late first to early second round. Okay, so Brenna just came tearing in here because <laughs> She actually got drafted even higher than we had all expected. Um, way higher than anybody expected. That's amazing. She just got picked sixth by the Indiana Fever. Lexi wasn't even invited to New York wow. for the WNBA wow. draft. She's in Palo Alto right now. She was not supposed to be picked this high. This is a huge, wow. huge accomplishment, uh, especially for our area. I can't imagine. I don't know for sure. I'll have to look back. But... Uh, <laughs> I would imagine she either is the highest draft pick from our area or, or close to the yeah. highest draft pick ever. What just, just an incredible thing. And obviously, what happens next for her? So now that we know that she's been drafted this high, what's yeah. next in that road? Yeah, so now we have to look at roster spots, okay. which we don't really know what the Indiana Fever looks like. But I will say they, they didn't have a great uh, season last okay. year. So she has a very good shot at making a WNBA roster, which uh, is very key in the WNBA draft because – there are a lot of picks in that draft, but if you get picked, that doesn't necessarily mean yeah. that you're going to make it. Like right. uh, Jill Barta a few years ago with Gonzaga, mm -hmm. she got picked in the third round. She didn't have a prayer okay. of making uh, making the team that she got picked by. So um, this is this is a huge vote of confidence from yes. the Indiana Fever for her. And uh, this, this says that uh, they're, they're going to be trying to probably look to build around her in the future. That's amazing. And do we expect that we might hear from her tonight? Is that yeah, the goal? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the hope <laughs> right now is that we're going to hear from her. There is a WNBA uh, draft room for okay. a Zoom option. Of course, she is not in right. New York right now. So this is something that they weren't expecting. So we're going to have to see uh, if she's able to jump on there. I'm assuming they would just do a, a big Zoom with mm -hmm. her from Palo Alto. I can only imagine what she is feeling and her family, of course, so proud of her. This is so exciting. And as somebody who's, you know, covered her throughout college, mm -hmm. just so excited for her, her and her family. Just yes. the whole twins are, are great people. And this is this is a big moment for basketball in our area. That is incredible, Brenna. Thank you very much. Yes. And of course, we'll have more on that coming up tonight at five and at 